Is there a forbidden chapter in the ancient Hebrew scriptures? Has it been kept from the Jewish people? What every Christian needs to know right now on Jewish Voice with Jonathan Bernis. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, where we help you to discover the Jewish roots of your Christian faith. I'm Jonathan Burnus. He was despised and rejected by men. If you've ever read Isaiah 53, you know it's an amazing prophecy about the Messiah that was written hundreds of years before he was born. And then later in the show, you'll meet a street evangelist in Israel who uses this prophetic chapter to proclaim the gospel to Jewish unbelievers. יש פרק אחד בתוך הספר הזה שהיו מקריאים אותו בבתי הכנסת כחלק מההפטרה, אבל אז הרבנים החליטו להוציא את זה מקריאת ההפטרה. היום זה נחשב הפרק האסור. האם שמעת על זה עוד פעם? האם את רוצה לראות מה נסתר בפרק הזה? יש לך את זה? יש לי פה בתנ"ך. That's Ariel Hyde, and we're going to meet him in a moment, but first, Here's our good friend, Dr. Mitch Glazer, who also uses Isaiah 53 to proclaim the gospel to Jewish unbelievers. Mitch, it's great to see you. Hey, Jonathan. I, I was just sharing with the audience that we've known each other. I started at 25, but it's actually 32 or 33 years at, ago at, we were, met. Yes, at least. We, we both uh, are from Jewish families. Right. And talk about your, just give us your story of how a good Jewish boy from Brooklyn, by the way, you can uh -huh. take the boy out of Brooklyn, but you can't take Brooklyn out of the Jewish boy. I was a good Jewish boy. I became a bad Jewish boy. Then I got saved. Then I became a better Jewish boy because you could never become good. And, uh, and so I was raised in an Orthodox home. My mom was ultra-Orthodox uh, when, when she was raised became less Orthodox over the years. My father was pretty secular. And so they sent me to Orthodox Hebrew school because my grandparents, of course, paid the, the bill. All through your teenage years, isolated through your growing up, isolated around other Jewish kids, Jesus was them. Yeah, until I got to New Jersey. And my two best friends became believers in Jesus because it was the Jesus movement. And people were witnessing like crazy. The Holy Spirit was moving. Miraculous things were happening everywhere, every day, day in and day out. So I began reading the Bible and loved my own Bible and read it in English, Jonathan. You know, that's the big thing with Jewish people, is that we can read Hebrew if we go to Hebrew school, but we don't know what we're reading. And so how do you really understand the Bible? No, you don't. So I began reading the Bible in English and I loved it, actually loved it. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, all my heroes. And so one night, I just couldn't think about anything else outside of Jesus. And I just said, God, if you're real, show me. And that's the key Jewish question, isn't it? And that very night, one of my young kids was crying. I took him to a f the only phone booth in this campground where we were working south of San Francisco. But instead of a phone book, was a copy of a, uh, a book. Not exactly this one, but it was Good News for Modern Man. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And it was kind of glowing in the moonlight, you know? A lot of things were glowing for me back then, Jonathan, but this was definitely the moonbeams. And so I began looking at it, and it had strange chapter titles, Matthew, Mark, Luke, you know, Ephesians. I mean, what kind of chapter is Ephesians? Had never seen a New Testament before? No, not in my entire life. Wow. And so I began reading this New Testament, and just, I, I just fell in love with Jesus. In fact, one moment there, I said, you know, this guy must be a New Yorker. I mean, he never, <laughs> he never <laughs> answered a dumb question with a straight answer, you know? He got right to the heart of people, and yet he was compassionate and gracious and loving, and yet smart and so Jewish. And I just kept reading, and I loved what he had to say. I want to focus on an amazing chapter of the Bible, the, the forbidden chapter, if you will. I never knew it existed, Isaiah 53. And you, you wrote a great book about it. Very simple. Isaiah 53 explained. And then I like what you wrote after that is the subheading, the, the, the subtitle, the chapter that will change your life. Amen. It did. 
What's in Isaiah 53 that will change your life? Isaiah 53 is the clearest prophecy of the death and resurrection of Yeshua in the entire Bible. And it uh, talks about the person of Yeshua. It talks about his humility, who he is. Uh, it talks about his rejection. And then it speaks about his death. It talks about his atoning death, which is really important. It's the only passage in the entire Bible that links the Messiah to a, an atoning death and makes it very clear that he didn't die for himself or for what he did, but because of what we, we did. What is the most convincing, you talk about it in the book, the most convincing evidence that this is referring to a person and not just a person, Yeshua, Jesus. I think verse 8 is the clearest. Let me read it. Because of oppression and judgment, he was taken away. And as for his generation, who considered that he, he was cut off from the land of the living for the transgression of my people to whom the stroke was due. That's so clear. It's clear, isn't it? Hey, hey we got to take a break. What happens when Jewish people read the forbidden chapter, Isaiah 53, for the first time? Well, you're going to see it for yourself when we talk to a fearless young street preacher live from Israel. That's next. Don't go away. ולכן הוא נתן בתורה את המערכת הקורבנות. הקורבן היה לוקח על עצמו את החטאים של אותו בן אדם. כתוב שהקורבנות יפסקו, ושבמקום הקורבנות שהיו, אלוהים ישלח בן אדם שיקרא המשיח. שיקח על עצמו את כל החטאים. בדיוק, וזה מה שקראנו עכשיו. Do you know which book of the Old Testament is forbidden by Jewish rabbis? Would you like to know how this book can revolutionize your faith? Then you need Isaiah 53 Explained by Mitch Glazer. Glazer is a Jewish believer in Jesus who shares an amazing insight into one of the Bible's most powerful chapters. Hidden mysteries are brought to life in this prophetic book, mysteries that can deepen your understanding of how God works. Learn who wants this chapter banned and why. See the scriptures in a whole new light. Enjoy the fresh anointing of God's word. Don't wait to enjoy a deeper relationship with God. Order Isaiah 53 Explained now. When you do, we'll include Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, The Lord, Your Healer, by Rabbi Jonathan Bernis. This book will help you harness the power of scripture to increase your health and happiness. Each scripture is written in English, Hebrew, and the transliteration from Hebrew. A CD including scriptures spoken in Hebrew enables you to learn correct pronunciation so you can confess the scriptures in Hebrew yourself. We'll also include this eye-catching grafted-in keychain. This intriguing symbol was unearthed recently on ancient pottery found during an excavation in Jerusalem and is a stunning reminder of Romans 11. We will send you all three gifts for your donation of $40 or more. So call now. When you do, you'll be helping our ministry improve the lives of Jewish communities worldwide with crucial medical, dental, and eye care. Most importantly, you're helping Jewish people from Argentina to the Ukraine to Africa learn that their Messiah, Jesus, has come. But there is so much more to do. Won't you help us? Remember, God said he will bless those who bless the Jewish people. Call the number on your screen now to partner with Jewish Voice. You can also click or write with your gift of support by going to our website, jvmi.tv, or writing to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. Please specify offer 1822 when giving $40 or more to receive your gifts. Call, click, or write today. יש מישהו שהגשים את זה? לא, לא שאני חושב, יכול להיות שיש, ותגיד לי עכשיו ואני אגיד לך, כן. ישו. That video actually went viral and has received more than 3 million hits on social media. It's the work of Ariel Hyde who joins us via Skype live from Israel. Ariel, welcome to the show. Thank you so much Well, I love what you've been doing. You are actually a street evangelist. And you talk about that. You just go out on the street and you 
pray for people, you share the gospel. What is that like? Well, it's, it's exciting that, that God is moving in such powerful ways. As we go out and, and share the gospel, we're seeing the Lord healing people, people coming to faith. Um, and we, what we do now is, is not only go out on our own, but we take our cameras with us. And so that once we share the gospel with those people, we can share that experience with hundreds of thousands of uh, other people. Now, Ariel, we're, we're talking today about what we call the hidden chapter, uh, Isaiah 53, or the forbidden chapter. Uh, I never knew Isaiah 53 existed until uh, I read the New Testament and then went back and read my own scriptures and Isaiah 53 shocked me because I was asked, I remember asking the question, why didn't anybody show this to me before? Do Israelis connect the dots when they read Isaiah 53? I'm sure you show that to people as you share with them. They're, they're absolutely stunned. Uh, many of them, uh, you know, we've had thousands of them writing in on Facebook through our websites and so forth. Many of them say, this is amazing. Could, could we have missed the Messiah? Uh, s some of them are saying, what, where are they reading from in that video? Is it from the New Testament? Be be because it's so clear that it's talking about Yeshua that, that they figured we must have been reading from the New Testament. And once we explain, no, this is Isaiah 53 from your Tanakh, your Hebrew Bible, they're just stunned and they want to hear more. Ariel, you have, a, you have an amazing story sh as uh, sharing with IDF soldiers. You served in the Israeli military. And uh, I want you to talk about that story. Sure, sure. Uh, I was serving for um, uh, over two years in the IDF, Israel Defense Forces. And when I first started, I, I had to go on a bus and then a train to get there to the base and then a uh, train and a bus on the way back. And I thought, wow, this is going to be a long several years. Uh, but then God showed me, well, actually, that means there's somebody sitting next to you on a train, then somebody on a bus, and then somebody on a bus and on a train. And, uh, and so the Lord started opening up doors on the way and also at the base. And just one example, when, when I was at the base, shortly before I was uh, released, um, there was a whole new wave of uh, soldiers who came in. And I, I'd shared the gospel with uh, the soldiers who had come in uh, before that point. But now I only had a short time left uh, in the IDF and there were all these new soldiers. So I prayed, God, please open up the door for me to be able to share the gospel with all the rest of these uh, soldiers. So one day as I was leaving the, uh, the base, uh, there was an elevator on the way down and I just felt the Holy Spirit say, don't get on this elevator, just wait. So I waited and uh, once the next elevator came, an uh, Orthodox soldier came out of the base as well. And so we went down together and he just started talking with me on the way. I shared the gospel with him. He was very interested, very open. When we got back to the base later, apparently he started telling uh, other soldiers and one of the soldiers who was nicknamed the rabbi uh, came over and grabbed me and he said, until you tell me about this Yeshua of yours. So uh, we sat down and started having these debates. And what happened was the, the workload at our base dropped from about filling 90% of our time to suddenly only filling about 20% of our time. So we had a whole bunch of soldiers and officers and everybody just sitting around the base having nothing to do. And they, so they would start telling each other, hey, the rabbi and the Messianic Jew are, are, are debating again. Come in here and hear it. And so, so the whole base, we would, they would come together and we would go through the scriptures and, 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 and sh you know, sharing the gospel. We, we had one time where we actually had a vote about who won the debate. And actually everybody in the room raised, raised their hand and, and thought that I had uh, uh, won. And so, so it was amazing just being, I, as when I left, I got to, I shared, uh, 60 New Testaments with all the different soldiers that had heard just wow. in those last uh, couple months. That's fantastic. <laughs> you know, Adiel, I have, I have Mitch Glazer with me and we are seeing Jewish people coming to faith. The blindness is coming off of their eyes. And there's a day coming, the scripture tells us, when all Israel shall be saved. I'm, we're gonna see that day, I believe. Amen. It, it's begun. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Isaiah, uh, not Isaiah, but Romans 11, where it says that the blindness will come off of the eyes of the Jewish people and a time will come when all Israel shall be saved. You're seeing Israelis come to faith. Mitch, you're seeing Jewish people in Brooklyn and other parts of the country around the world I coming am. to faith. I'm seeing lots of, of Jews in places like Ukraine Coming to faith, are we in that day? I'm finding it easy to talk to Jewish people about the Lord. 
and it, you, you, you can just talk. I met, I met a guy the other day who just became a believer. He was going to Chabad house. He was not really Chabad, but he was really searching. And uh, this guy just came to the Lord on his own, and now he's coming to a Messianic congregation. And this guy's in his probably in his mid fifties. So are we it's, seeing? Are we seeing that f the fulfillment of Romans eleven twenty five? The blindness will come off of the eyes of the Jewish people. Yeah, then now's the time. It's it's begun. What's really important is that we continue to sow the word of God into people's lives. So what Ariel is doing on the streets is incredible. Is. You see, and that's going to bear. It's already bearing fruit, but there's going to be a real harvest someday, and we're just going to walk on into it. Jonathan, we're not even going to know what hit us. It's going to come because God's word says it will. Well, Ariel, thanks for joining us today from Israel. Also, there's a link to Ariel's entire 10-minute forbidden chapter video on our website. Just go to jewishvoice.org and uh, we'll give you a link. How has God been using Isaiah's prophetic message to reach more Jewish people with the message of Yeshua? We'll find out right after the break. Do you know which book of the Old Testament is forbidden by Jewish rabbis? Would you like to know how this book can revolutionize your faith? Then you need Isaiah 53 Explained by Mitch Glazer. Glazer is a Jewish believer in Jesus who shares an amazing insight into one of the Bible's most powerful chapters. Hidden mysteries are brought to life in this prophetic book, mysteries that can deepen your understanding of how God works. Learn who wants this chapter banned and why. See the scriptures in a whole new light. Enjoy the fresh anointing of God's word. Don't wait to enjoy a deeper relationship with God. Order Isaiah 53 Explained now. When you do, we'll include confessing the Hebrew scriptures, the Lord your healer, by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus. This book will help you harness the power of scripture to increase your health and happiness. Each scripture is written in English, Hebrew, and the transliteration from Hebrew. A CD including scriptures spoken in Hebrew enables you to learn correct pronunciation so you can confess the scriptures in Hebrew yourself. We'll also include this eye-catching grafted-in keychain. This intriguing symbol was unearthed recently on ancient pottery found during an excavation in Jerusalem and is a stunning reminder of Romans 11. We will send you all three gifts for your donation of $40 or more. So call now. When you do, you'll be helping our ministry improve the lives of Jewish communities worldwide with crucial medical, dental, and eye care. Most importantly, you're helping Jewish people from Argentina to the Ukraine, to Africa, learn that their Messiah, Jesus, has come. But there is so much more to do. Won't you help us? Remember, God said he will bless those who bless the Jewish people. Call the number on your screen now to partner with Jewish Voice. You can also click or write with your gift of support by going to our website, jvmi.tv, or writing to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. Please specify offer 1822 when giving $40 or more to receive your gifts. Call, click, or write today. We've been talking to Dr. Mitch Glazer here in the studio. Isaiah 53 explained the chapter that will change your life. You're seeing life's change. Absolutely. Talk about it. They're reading the book and they're asking questions and people are coming to faith. And then we have thousands of Christians who are giving the book to their Jewish friends, which I think is really powerful because they already have a relationship. And we'd love to get this book into the hands of Christians so that they can share it with their not, Jewish friends. Not only do I want you to get the book for your Jewish friend, I want you to read the book first and then loan it to them because reading Isaiah 50, 53 I believe is life-changing, not just for Jewish people, but for everyone that reads it. It's, it's, I, I, Christians have been interested in it a lot, not for a, ver a variety of reasons. I think a lot of Christians don't get a lot of Old Testament teaching. Isaiah 53 is as important to Gentile Christians as it is to Jewish people or Jewish believers in Yeshua, because when we believe the Word of God, that increases our faith. 
It does. And, and that causes us to have confidence to be able to preach the gospel with love and power. Amen. And the Messiah in the Old Testament, in the Jewish scriptures. Mitch, thank you for coming to our studio. It's good to have oh, you back. Always a blessing. And if you're curious about the easiest and quickest way to learn Hebrew, you won't want to miss next week's show. Here's why. This is a language that transcends beyond and above any other language in the world. The reason for that is it's the divine spiritual language that God and angels speak. The scripture tells us that Yeshua, Jesus, was pierced through for our transgressions and by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes you are healed. That's the good news that we're taking to impoverished tribes of Israel scattered around the world. The scriptures also promise blessing to those who satisfy the needs of the oppressed. When you partner with Jewish Voice to help persecuted and impoverished Jewish people in remote villages, God multiplies the blessing in your life and the lives of others. Your financial support is serving countless Jewish communities that are desperate for relief from pain and suffering. When you give, they receive hope and healing and the good news that their deliverer has come. The Lemba are personally deeply invested in what the Lord's doing in their community. The Lemba alongside us are making personal, individual commitments to be a part of it. People are going to the dirt behind their houses and they're casting bricks and then they're heating them and they're carrying them on the back of a donkey or in some cases on their own backs up a mountain to be a part of a congregation which is being built. We honor the Lemba commitment and we're excited to partner with them, not to do it for them, to do it with them. Then I came back, there's a church which, which preaches about Yeshua, the son of the living God. Then I say, ah, is it the Muslim people? Then they keep on saying, ah, they are the real people of God. They are preaching about the true message of Yeshua. Then I said, oh, let me come. Then I come, then when I came here, I found it was really good. They were preaching about Yeshua, then I was given a Bible. Then I, then I said, ah, it is truly that they worship the true God. We're making a covenantal, multi-year, long-term commitment to this community. A commitment to see local, indigenously-led Messianic congregations grow, and a commitment to see them return and be restored first to the Lord and also long-term to the land of Israel. Dozens and dozens of Messianic Jewish congregations have been planted, not only here around this hilltop, but throughout the nation of Zimbabwe. Prepare a way in the wilderness, a highway for our God. As you can see, God has miraculously preserved the Lemba tribe of Zimbabwe, one of the scattered tribes of Israel. You can do miracles this holiday season by sending us a generous year-end gift to support the vital medical, dental, and eye care that we provide to desperately poor Jewish communities and their neighbors. You can do miracles. You improve the circumstances of impoverished Jewish people now and help change eternal destinies forever. 
There's so much more to do and we need your help. Well, we're out of time, but before I go, I wanna pray a special Hebrew blessing over you. This is the prayer that God commanded Aaron, the brother of Moses, to pray over the children of Israel, and we've been praying it ever since. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmarecha, Ya'er Adonai p'navelecha v'chunecha, Yisa Adonai p'navelecha v'yasemlecha shalom. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And may he give you his shalom, his peace, in the name of Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Amen and amen. Now maybe you've been watching the program and you don't know uh, don't know the Lord yet, you don't have a relationship with Yeshua, with Jesus, you were not watching by accident and we want you to call the number on your screen and we will pray with you because God loves you and so do we. Now remember also, if you have prayer needs, we're here for you. You can log on to our website. It's jvmi.tv. And again, God loves you. I want to leave you with Psalm 122.6, which says to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. So if you want to prosper this week, pray for Israel and the Jewish people. And by the way, that reminds me, we're going to Jerusalem next May to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the restoration of Jerusalem. It's going to be an incredible event and we'll be there at the Western Wall with thousands of Israelis to celebrate. Hope you can come. Join Jewish Voice Ministries as we tour the Holy Land and celebrate Israel 2017. It's time to honor the 50-year anniversaries of Jewish Voice and the liberation of Jerusalem. On this trip, you'll stay in five-star accommodations as we tour Mount Carmel, Nazareth, Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives, Upper Room, and more. You'll see Jonathan Burnus commemorate the recapture of Jerusalem right where it happened. We'll also visit an Israeli military base and enjoy a Bedouin meal. You can renew your marriage vows on the Sea of Galilee and participate in an immersion ceremony at the Jordan River. As an added bonus, you can even visit Eilat, the Red Sea, and world-famous Petra. Act now before this once-in-a-lifetime event sells out. Call and speak with our events coordinator to learn more exciting details about Celebrate Israel 2017 or visit jvmi.org slash Israel. I sure hope you can join me and my family in Jerusalem next May. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. <laughs>